merch guys so I was gonna make this video as a Sony A51 car photography because I haven't seen that on YouTube at all but I kind of want to switch it up let these cameras go head to head what's up YouTube we about to get into a video brought to you again by Von Vlogs TV thanks for tuning in with to another video all right as you can see by the title of this video we're taking the iphone 11 pro max up against the sony a5100 i'm currently recording up the a5100 so that's why it's not i'm not holding it up to show you guys but let's check out the specs of each camera real fast before we get into the pictures or, or anything let's check out the specs first off <laughs> The iPhone 11 Pro Max has three cameras, the normal lens, the telephoto lens, and the wide angle lens. I'll be using all of these lenses within the photo shoot. But however, the iPhone 11 Pro Max has a 12 megapixel camera on each camera lens that's in the phone. So you have one on this hand that has a 24.3 megapixel camera which is the DL DLSR mirrorless Sony A51, which on the other hand, you have a 12 megapixel telephoto lens, wide angle lens, and standard lens, guys. But, you guys will see, it's a pretty close matchup still. Like, iPhone, pretty impressive. And then, both capture video in 4K, so, man, also, these settings go for the iPhone Pro, and I'm, I don't believe it's the iPhone 11. I just believe it's the Pro and the Pro Max version. Also, in this video, you guys can also tell the video quality between the Sony A5100 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The iPhone 11 Pro Max will be filming me taking pictures of the car using the Sony A5100 and vice versa. The A51 will be recording me taking pictures with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Also, the Sony A5100 is recording me, right, recording me right now, so if you like the clarity and the stabilization of this camera right now, then, yeah, I, I love it. I'm not gonna lie, I love yes, it. For the Sony A51, I will be shooting in raw quality and 16 to nine aspect ratio and also 3.2, so you can get different angles, but it's Pretty same setting and everything. Like on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I will be shooting in portrait mode and normal mode with the wide angle lens and uh, telephoto lens, all that. Let's see how they stack up. Let's get into it. iPhone 11 Pro Max, here it goes. Let's see how they stack up. I'm pretty excited about this. This phone just came out and this camera been out for a long time. So let's see guys. All right, you guys, we just finished up our shots with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now let's get into it. It is fall right now, so we're gonna get some of the pictures of the car and some of the leaves around so you can get like the full environment and the feeling of like the element and time the moment now. So let's get into it. All right, you guys, man, that was a close matchup. So tell me who you guys think won in the uh, description below. I'm pretty interested to see what you guys think. 
it was a real, real, real close matchup. But most of them would tweak just with just a little bit, just a little bit. But man, Apple did a great job. But Sony, that's an older model camera. I don't know, keeping up with the phone, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And the rest of the pictures from this photo shoot today will be on my Instagram, Vaughn.media on Instagram. So make sure you follow that to see all the photos from this photo shoot if you like this video. Stay tuned, you guys, to the next one.